Good evening, everyone. This is Victor Ruiz from Getting Healthy Today. Tonight, I'm doing a special presentation for all of you, and it's entitled, Five Ways to Overcome Your Fear of Change. I have five different ways to do that. And I just wanted to let you know, at the, if you stay to the end, I'll be giving a PDF of this particular, a PDF guide of this particular broadcast, as well as uh, an audio, an eight-minute audio that I have on Stages of Change. And if you follow through and give me your email address, I'll send it to you, no problem. All right, so let's talk about the first way of overcoming fear of change. One of the things we have to do is create a vision of the behavior change that you want to achieve and how will it appear to you. So you ask yourself the question, how would it make you feel if you can envision yourself overcoming that fear to change into something that you want to do. So let's say you want to change a behavior. You want to stop smoking, you want to lose weight, you want to improve something about yourself. You want to ask yourself, what would it look like if I were able to visualize myself doing that and actually achieving it? Would it be worth it to me? Visualizing it first is the best way to get ready towards that particular goal. Now number two, is embrace the attitude of change. Tell yourself change is beneficial, not harmful. So if we know that we feel that it, if I change, it's going to help me out, that's going to force us to do it. Now, the other is carefully consider this, that possessing a strong mindset for change and for the change to occur is important. Now, providing the right environment for yourself Getting people motivated behind you to change also helps within that process. So if you have other people supporting you in that change, you'll be more willing to do it. So it's very important to set your mind first into the process of change. You have to believe that change is for the good, and then you can start off on that, that same path. Now number three is determine your why and your purpose for the change right now. Why is it that you need to make this change right now? What is the the reasons why it's so strong and, and important for you to do it right now? That's something that you want to ask yourself. So if you can define the why and the purpose of why that change needs to be made now, those are two crucial points to consider. So why do you want to change now are some of the questions you want to ask yourself. What are the reasons why change is needed to be done at this time? What is the purpose of making these changes at the present time, and what are the benefits of doing so? Number four, developing a strategy or plan of action which embodies that change. If you don't believe in the change, who will? So if you believe that change is beneficial to you, and if you do it, it will happen, then you will go ahead and continue. But you have to have, like we said, the strong mindset. Now, the other issues are you have to identify the most important activities in in creating this strategy or plan so what are the what are the, the steps that you have to take on a daily basis that will ensure you to enact that change over time there's going to be ups and downs so your approach to this is highly important so if you do not focus and you lose focus how do you regain that focus you want to get back on track so sometimes we can get discouraged and then you have to kind of reinforce the steps along the way number five be consistent daily reinforce all the steps above on a continuous level every day emphasize the daily routine habits that enact this change that you're trying to take into action be proud of yourself for taking the step of making this change because just think about it when you actually overcome your fear of change and you actually do it change then becomes inevitable you're taking this journey and everything that you struggled to get there will be all for the best and be you'll be rewarded at the end because your fear led you to success so it was all worth it at the end of this particular journey and now you learn something about yourself that you didn't know before the start of this journey. So it's really important that just remember a bonus tip for you today, number six, is 
momentum overcomes all of your fears. That's right. Momentum overcomes all of your fears. Once you get through day one of the behavioral change, and it starts, it starts getting better and better and easier and easier over time. Once you start getting into the routine of things, it's not as bad as it was the first day. Just like when you lose weight, the first day is terrible. You have pains of hunger. You, you want to eat something, but you know you can't. And you have this struggle constantly throughout the day. But over time, each day gets better and better because it, it's compounded. It has the compound effect. One day leads to the next day, to the next day, to the next day. So it's really important that you keep in mind that through your resilience and you, through your effort each day, just keep going day by day. Just keep doing it. It gets better and better. For instance, I'm doing these videos right now. At one time, I wouldn't be able to do these videos. But I kept on doing them and doing them, and I became more comfortable in doing this process. So it's really important that once you get through that one fear, remember, your fear will become that motivation, and that motivation will then lead you to success. Okay? So, if you're interested in any of the two offers that I have for you, the giveaway and the uh, other, the PDF guide today's broadcast, as well as the eight-minute audio that I have about eight minutes long, and it's regarding the stages of change by a Dr. De Clemente and Dr. Prochaska that talk about stages of change and it it really enhances the idea of what it's like to go through changes and how each each part of that has to do with being able to get through the next stage that every stage is not time limited but you understand pre-contemplation uh, pre-contemplation for instance is you don't know you need to change and now you eventually go into what's called contemplation where you someone makes you realize you need to change and now you're in between which is called decisional balance so I'll be describing that a little bit further for you on that audio if you're interested so just feel free to private message me your email address and I'll send you both of those options and if you'd like to take a look at my website also go to getting healthy today on Facebook uh, for all the listeners live and also for the replay listeners Okay, folks, thank you so much for your time. I appreciate all the time you've given me tonight. And check it out. And if you have any further questions, feel free to comment below. And also reach out to me on Getting Healthy Today on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. All right, have a nice night. Enjoy. Take care. Bye.